uh, ask for what's done, what's done. Again, we went into Isaiah where he says that, you know, God, God already, he, he finished a thing first and then he goes back to the beginning. And we see where Peter uh, asked the Lord to bid me to come. We, we see that uh, also in, uh, in the book of Joshua. In Joshua, you find in Joshua 14, uh, where the children of Israel, where they went to Moses. And they say, Moses, you know, Moses have swear that whatever our foot tread upon, whatever our foot touch, that that will belongs to us. That belongs to us. And we find in Joshua uh, 14 and also in verses uh, uh, verses uh, uh, from 9 through 15 and particularly in verses 12 it says, Now they say therefore give me this mountain whereof the Lord spake in that day for thou earest in that day now the Anakims were there and that the cities were great and the fences if so be the Lord will be there and be with me then I shall be able to drive them out out as the Lord had said and it says in verses 13 jo uh, Joshua bless him and give unto Caleb the son of uh, Jephna, uh, Hebram for an inheritance now here what took place there here is where uh, uh, Joshua realized and he come to understand he said now we, we know that 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 it was already promised to us that God is going to give me what belongs to me and since God is going to give me what belongs to me I'm going to ask for it the Bible said we receive not because we ask not and then he says ask and it shall be what given unto you notice and in, in Matthew 7 and 7 he said ask he did not say pray that again there are times when we have to travail and, and believe God when there's stubborn or ignorant spirit we, uh, uh, that is there that it, things are not broken that's when you have to say you know what God I am asking and believing you to release what I need so he here, a Joshua, a blessed Caleb, because Caleb was was one of the spies that was sent into uh, uh, sent into uh, to spy the land. And now, a Josh, Caleb went to Joshua and said, "Give me the mountain, give me the blessing that belongs to me." And Joshua realized that Caleb was right. So, but what happened? He asked for what he need. And tonight, you have to ask. You must ask. If you don't ask, you will not receive it. If you don't believe it, you will not receive it. If you don't go with before and say I need what I need you will not obtain whatever you need in the season God wants to give it to you now we find uh, uh, in, in John 15 and 7 as they say as the Lord said if you abide in me and my word abide in you the Lord was declaring based on a statement that God has given unto Abraham Isaac and Jacob because the Lord has already said that the blessing that Abraham has it belongs to us for us according to Galatians 3 and 29 it says, and if ye be Christ, then ye are Abraham's what? Seed and ears according to the promise. You remember in Genesis 11, and when the Lord said to Abraham, I want you to come out from the kindred, the land of the or of the Chaldeans, and I want you to go and I will bless you in chapters 12 of Genesis. And he said, I will bless thee, and I will bless them that bless thee, curse them that curse thee. And he said, I will multiply thy seed. So here God had made a promise unto Abraham, and the promise that God had made unto Abraham that's the same promise that God wants to give to us because if Galatians 3 and 29 says that we are the seed of Abraham and now heirs according to the promise it means that the promise has already been released unto us and since the promise has been released unto us it means that we are supposed to obtain what has already been done we are supposed to see manifestation we are supposed to see it in reality we are supposed to see it come to pass and in this season. God wants you to obtain exactly what you need. Here with the, uh, the tr Passion Translation says in Galatians 3 and 29 and since you have been united to Jesus, the Messiah, you are now Abraham's child and inherit all the promises of the kingdom realm. So here he says because we become a child of God, the promise that Abraham received and when you look at Genesis 13 chapter 13 we see that Abraham was rich in cattle and silver and gold he was very rich so Abraham obtained the blessing that God had given unto him and God wants us to obtain that same blessing the living Bible says in Galatians 3 and 29 and now that we are Christ we are the true descendant of Abraham and all of God promises to him belongs to us I'm going to read it again in the living
living Bible in Galatians 3 and 29. And now that we are Christ, we are the true descendants of Abraham. And all of God's promises to him belongs to us. So if something belongs to us, it means that I'm supposed to have it. What is it that you need from God? What is it that you've been asking God that has been delayed, that has not come forth, that has not manifested? I want you to come. We want to come in agreement with you. And we want to tap into God. We want to tap into the heavens of heavens and ask God to release it to you today. He said, if you ask, you shall receive it. It shall be done, which means it shall come to manifestation. And we want manifestation to take place now in your life. We want God to do it now in your life. You've been waiting too long. You have been travailing too long. You have been anticipating too long. You've been saying, God, when it's going to happen, I want to, I want to receive the blessing. I want to receive the promise that God has for me. I want to, I want to receive everything that God has as a, a locked up. I want it to be released now because I want what I need in this moment. You know, we have a, a few praise report. We have a, 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 someone from uh, Patricia from New Jersey and Patricia wasn't expecting any income tax money and uh, she had owe IRS money and somehow uh, you know, uh, she said, you know, I'm going to still go and file and she went and file and uh, they said uh, she will not get any money but uh, uh, a few days after we prayed, we prayed for her she received a call and they said um, we have a check here for you and uh, she called them excuse me she, and, they, and she said do I have any check uh, coming back from from uh, a, ref a tax refund check and they said yes we have a check here for you but the check is so big we cannot disclose it to you uh, so you have to come in she went in and uh, she received a, a check for uh, thousands of dollars and it wasn't going to happen but we prayed for her and we come in agreement with her her and God release that money unto her. We also have uh, someone by name of uh, Natalie from Connecticut. Natalie from Connecticut. She was in bankruptcy and uh, she called and we believe God and we pray with her. And while uh, when we prayed with her the night, the second, the next day, uh, she received a letter from the bank and the bank says that uh, we are not. We're going to take you off of foreclosure. Now this is supernatural. This is uh, because she believed God and uh, because she. Believed believe God. We pray with the expectation that God will do exactly what she need. And she received that letter stating she was backed up over four months uh, of a mortgage and they sent a letter and said the bankruptcy has been cancelled and she can keep her house. That's the God we serve. We also have someone by the name of uh, uh, Grace and, and Grace was in a time of uh, uh, pain and, 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 and suffering and what she did, she called us and we prayed and believed Believe for grace and uh, grace had a, a mask in her breast and she said I'm believing God because I do not want to go through any chemo I cannot stop working at this point in time and we prayed and we believe God she she went back to the doctor she did a next uh, a mammogram test and they run more tests and uh, they call her back the following week and said you know you need to come in and see her she went in and they said there is no more mask that is on your breast the cancer has been gone God wants to do it for you. Don't sit there and say, God, why me? God, why are you allowing all this to happen to me? God loves you. God desire to see you heal. God desire to see you prosper. God desire to see you move forward in life. God wants the best for you. God wants you to have the best. He said, above all, that thou may prosper and be in health as thy soul prosper it. He says in John 10:10 10, 10, that the thief come to steal to kill and to destroy but I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly God wants you to have abundant life it's already done when he was on the cross he said it is finished whatever you need today it is done 